If you didn't know, it turns out coconut oil is the perfect beauty ingredient for your hair, your health, your skin. So we're here with celebrity chef and Natural Instinct spokesperson, Giada De Laurentiis. Hi. And she's gonna tell us how she uses it in her beauty regimen and in her recipes. So let's talk about this. Coconut oil, who knew? Well, for the record, I was never a big coconut fan ever, my whole life. So it's interesting how your tastes change and how you can use it you know, on your body. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also eat it. I use it in desserts, um, sometimes to add a little sweetness to, um, to vinaigrettes. I use it on that. Sometimes I use it in fruit salads as well. Maple syrup and coconut oil mixed together. And then I just heat it up on the stove for just like a minute. And um, I pour it over fruits. I put it in, um, in dressings. From time to time, I've been known to put it over pasta for my daughter. And you stay really slim. Being that you're a chef, you would think that you know you have to eat a lot and everything. So I take it this isn't help. This isn't making you gain weight at all. Like anything else in life, mm -hmm. moderation is key. Mm -hmm. And so I eat a little bit of everything and not a lot of anything. So when I use it, I use a tablespoon at a time. I don't use a ton of coconut oil. I don't slather everything with it. Um, and I think at the end of the day. A little bit goes a long way. I, I just feel like sometimes it's really important to find things that you can find in the grocery store and use in your life that aren't mixed with lots of different types of ingredients. So and did you keep the coconut oil with you also? It's kind of handy for your beauty. I have it in my pantry and when I travel I have it in a little to-go container, just a small one, so that I can use it because I get really, really dry. My skin and my hands especially, and since my hands get shot all the time, mm -hmm. um, I try to keep them nice and moist and moisturized. It just feels better, so I have it in my bag. What I love about the coconut oil is that it smells good as well as tastes good and it's really nice when you put things on your lips and on your hands that you can smell them and it just it's just great and I hear natural instincts also has coconut oil in it it does and for years I bought the box of natural instincts just for the conditioner so I could condition my hair it's affordable I didn't feel bad about buying a whole box and just using conditioner um, and now they've added coconut oil in it so it's even better for your hair it makes it shiny and I think it's it smells really good too which yeah. I think is a big plus. Well, any other tips that you have for us? Beauty regimen, things that you do, because you look great and we all want to know. Lots of exfoliation. I truly am a believer in exfoliating. Your body, your face, everything. Mm -hmm. Especially for me because I wear obviously a lot of makeup, but I think for everybody, it just keeps your, hair, your skin looking really shiny and moisturized. Because when you put moisturizer on your skin, if there's a lot of dryness, it doesn't absorb it. Mm -hmm. So you can keep putting it on, you're just wasting your money. Um, so you gotta exfoliate and then apply. And I do yoga, I think some form of exercise. It's different for everyone, you know. Yoga is, works for some people, it doesn't work for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so some form of, form of exercise, kind of just working out and sweating. You know what I mean? It's so important for us to get rid of toxins and sweating is one of the best ways to do that. So for me it's yoga, but for other people it could be running, spinning, whatever it might be. Just some form of sweating. Biking, yeah. And my last question is, you know, we all want to know, when you're behind the stove, cooking and everything, how do you manage to stay looking beautiful? You know, I try to have a very simple regimen. So a little bit of, of, um, of foundation, a very light foundation, a little bit of lipstick, a little bit of, um, of mascara. I usually put my hair back either in a bun or in little braids mm -hmm. so keep it out of my face but still look cute. Well, thank you so much, Yada. I loved having all of your tips and having you here with us. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching New Beauty.